pay attention to your cell out vision. We visual entertaining critical on the DL. The flavor is something you can feel from Cypress, Grant, Drew to Lauren Hill. Don't touch that dial for a while. We touch a soul attack of Serbian truth. Set up traps and foxholes. Skunk Melissa, Wu Fang, Nasty to Who Bang, Sean Let, Most Def, Iverson, who's next? Escape to Toto. We rock with Deborah Cox. If you watch long enough, it's going down with the locks. In the mall, out west, downtown, the wild, wild, real flame. Drop a gem, tell our vision, new style. Karima from Real Flavor down here chilling on Michigan Avenue. I'm gonna go into Virgin Mega Record Store to check out Undeniable New Hot Artists. I'm telling y'all, they hot, they hot. We're gonna be doing, damn, we got a lot of stuff to do today. We're gonna be chilling with BJ. He's gonna set a light it up with Babyface, Tracy Edmonds, and Usher. Y'all know I'm mad, right? He's chilling with Usher and Babyface. But it's all good though, because I'm gonna. Go up into Virgin Mega Record Store and check out these new hot artists. We got Entourage, End Up, uh, Deja, Hot Young Lady. Hot, y'all. She hot. And we got Strong. So come on, follow me while we see these hot new artists. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, well, you know, how many times do we have to go over this? Uh, well, I'll call you late. I'll call you late. Oh, oh, you caught me off guard. Real Flavor, what's up? Once again, you're looking at Real Flavor. The third show for the new year right here in 1999. None other than, man, produced here in Shot Town. I'm your host, BJ, as always. And, man, you're probably wondering where we are at. I see you see the trailers, the cars. We are on the set of the new movie by Edmonds Entertainment for 20th Century Fox, a new movie called Light It Up. And that's what we're going to do on this show, Light It Up. This movie has Vanessa Williams, has Fred Joe Starr, who we're getting ready to go interview right now, as a matter of fact. You know, Fred Joe from Onyx, Q from Moesha. Who else? He played in Strapped. And, uh, man, we have, um, who else do we have? Yell it out. Uh, Usher. Usher, yeah. None other than Usher, you know what I'm saying, super sensation teen idol Usher in the movie, as well as, um, you remember Rosaria? She played Lala in He Got Game, Spike Lee's new movie with Ray Allen. He was a starting, you know what I'm saying, basketball player in that movie. And she was his girlfriend trying to, you know, be a gold digger. Anyway, she's not a gold digger in real life, but we're going to get some interviews with her as well. And, uh, man, much, much more. So come on, check out, you know what I'm saying? Don't turn the dial and kick it with us. You know what I'm saying? Real flavor on the set of Light It Up. We're going to light it up. Come on. All right, party people. It's about that time. We want everybody, everybody off the stage. You ain't supposed to be on the stage. We won't. Because you trip over the wire, we're going to get smitty. What up, you know what I'm saying? It's the Brad Tat Tat. And they bring you all the real flavor, you know what I'm saying? So y'all need to stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. It's me, Kareem. I'm here on Michigan Avenue, lovely Chicago, Shot Town. And we chilling here, but I'm going to check out this new video by Method Man and D'Angelo. D'Angelo kind of swollen this video. Here we die, here we die. Yeah, yeah. Ex girlfriend, how you been? I should this is Deja, and you watching Real Flavor. Stay tuned, baby. Hey, anybody know where Crescent Star's trailer is? Hey, man, you know where this is trailer is? Oh, it's Fred Joe from Onyx, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to confuse yeah, yeah. It's right back there. Seven doors. Hey, while we at it, I'm going to try to get him to autograph their new CD that came out last year, too. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I got to take a deep breath. I'm sort of nervous. But, uh, you know, I've done this time and time again, interviewing, you know what I'm saying, all the greats. So, let's uh, go in here. And his name is Rodney in the movie. Who is it? Uh, Real Flavor. Man. On the phone, my New York niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you got to stay true to them, man. As we promised, you know what I'm saying, we got none other than Fredro. You know I'm saying, one of the members of Onyx. Man, everybody talking about Q, you know what I'm saying, the character you play on Moesha in town for this movie, and your yeah. character that you playing for this movie is rugged. You know what I'm saying, what's your first-hand opinion about your character, the character Rodney you playing for Light of the... I'm saying, Rodney is just like, he's like, he's like the kid who could have went either way in life, you know what I'm saying? Right. He could have been on the bad side of life or the good side. Right. He right in the middle. So that's my character in the movie. He forced to be there in the situation. You see the movie, it's like six kids come together and a, and a, and a cop is held hostage right. because of some reasons. You see you see the flick. Mm -hmm. But it's how six people from different places come together, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. work together. You're not a stranger to work in that movie, you know what I'm saying? You didn't play some, you know what I'm saying, nice roles and straps yeah. and... Uh, Sunset Park, 
And what's the other one? Ride, right? Yeah, ride, clockers. Right, you know yeah, clockers. Man, how did you uh, first start getting into movies? Did you start off rapping first with Onyx, or you started, like, doing both? Saying, I, got, I got hooked up with Forrest Whitaker. He, matter of fact, Forrest Whitaker is the cop that we holding hostage in the movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He put me down in my first movie, which was Strap. That right. was like in 94. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was like five, six, six years ago. Right. So he put me in that movie. That was my first acting job. And now I'm doing a movie with him now. It's kind of bugged out that I'm working with him as an actor now. Yeah, being able to work with your idol. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Man, y'all CD came out, you know what I'm saying? Onyx CD came out last year, a couple of months ago. Yeah, what? shut him down. Beginning of the, the came middle, out, it came out 98? Yeah, it came out like in the summer. Yeah. How's the sales going with that? Matter of fact, I got a shit, copy shit, right here. Go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We want platinum out here. We started V12 Entertainment, right. so that should be coming soon. You know what I mean? We all doing solo projects. Right. So we, I don't even know if you're going to see another Onyx album. What we do is going to be in the future when we come back to save the world these last days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah. All right, here go my man, Yuck Mouth, you know what I'm saying? Still balling, dedicated to the late, great Tupac on Rapper Live Records. Check it out. Oh man, I'm out here, man, this girl Deja, she can jam, you know, I'm trying to get my little groove on here today, listening to Deja, man, BJ out there having fun somewhere on the set of Light It Up, so, man, this girl, she can sing, she can really jam, let's check out her new video, Crazy, Undeniable Records, they got some talent, y'all, check them out.
interviewing Deja, the hot new young lady on the on the market. Deja, you sound really, really good. You're only 16 years old. Two more months and I'll be 17, so I guess you okay. can say 17, we're right? We're almost legal. We're almost legal. You sound pretty good. So Thank you. you plan on touring anytime soon? or? Yeah, uh, Entourage and I, we did a promotional tour this summer. So we, we, we do a lot of things in Chicago, and we fly in and out of town sometimes. But I don't know about a major tour yet. Okay, you're still trying to work the album. Okay, you sound pretty good. Out of all the songs on your CD, which song do you like the most? I like all of them. They're all they're all my babies. You know, it was all created and and I, I love them all. Okay. I love them all. Okay, well I want to wish you much success. Thank you. And you're gonna blow up, girl. I like that. I'm feeling that song. I'm feeling your song. Thank you. Yo, word out. What's the prowl? This retro star, rapping V12 Entertainment. You know what I mean? With real flavor, right here in Shot Town. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry Springer, and you're watching Real Flavor. All right, here we go, you know what I'm saying? New one from Nas, you know what I'm saying? For the 9-9 nine -nine on Real Flavor, Nas is like. Check it out, Columbia Records. Hey, hey, man. We finally got an interview with, man, who I promised earlier in the beginning of the show, Rosario, you know what I'm saying? None other than Lala herself from Spike Lee, you know what I'm saying? If you down with Spike Lee, you checked out his last movie, He Got Game. She was, uh... Ray Allen's girlfriend, love interest, the gold digger. DeAndre's an agent. Lala, you know I ain't supposed to be talking to no agents. You know that shit's illegal. You know that. I believed you when you said that you would never leave me, Jesus. And I believed you when you asked me to get that abortion. I, when you begged me to get that abortion, I believed you. We both agreed on that. I wanted that child. I wanted to know what you think because it's What boring. I think? A baby's gonna hurt my chance of going to college. I mean, the top schools, they're gonna be scared away. Damn. I'm too young. You're too young. But she's not a gold digger in real life, though. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up there, Rosario? How you doing? Good. How you doing, baby? I'm fine. I'm fine. And, uh, see, you got her sibling, you know what I'm saying, standing no, behind her. No, it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is our mother right here. You can't even tell. Look at the, look at the, you know what I'm saying, similarities. You sure you two are... Right. So anyway, Rosario, how is it, you know what I'm saying, working on this set, lighted up with Babyface and his wife, Tracy? Wonderful. Actually, they're really, um, they're here all the time to make sure, you know, that we feel horrible whenever we mess up our lines and feel really good whenever we look good because of right. hair and makeup, you know, because it's not like we're doing a very good job here at all, you know. It's oh, like, man. that's why we're here for so long, you know, because they're <laughs> just trying, like, please, Rosario, get this line right. right. No, but um, it's really... Incredible. I've never worked on location before, so I've never had to be away from my family for right. so long. We've always shot in New York, and so that, that's, a, that's a big difference, going home right. and um, having just your family and friends to be around. I've just been engrossed in this film, which is a totally different experience for me. Mm -hmm. So I think I've learned a lot on this particular set. Yeah, that's good. Speaking of your acting abilities, how did you ever get discovered? It's like we saw the movie, we all went to the box office, and we're like, man, who is that? Um, I got discovered when I was 15 years old, hanging out on my stoop, and um, they were shooting a Vibe commercial on my block, right. which I actually danced silhouette for, for the commercial. And then um, these guys came up to me, and they were Harmony Corinne, who wrote Kids, mm -hmm. and he also wrote and directed Gummo, right. and um, Larry Clark, right. who directed Kids. Um, and they just approached me on working on this movie and were like, you're perfect, you're gonna, you're, you're our Ruby. Right. And so that's how I did, that was my first film. And from then, um, it just kind of progressed. When the movie came out, I got an agent and, uh, Spike had seen it. And in my first audition for He Got Game, we ended up having a very long conversation about that right. particular film. And I think he kind of knew already what he wanted and, he seemed to have a lot of background information on everybody, on Mila. Of course, he'd work with Denzel very o quite often, so I think he just wanted to make sure that we had the same sort of vibe and were understanding and feeling each other for this particular role. Ooh, a lot of people that's looking, you know what I'm saying, either at this show, hopefully, or uh, that are going to see you in the movie that comes out lighted up and that saw you and he got game are probably like, hey, who is that? Where did she come from? Boy, is she lucky. How do you, you know what I'm saying, what do you say about that? You consider yourself lucky or what? I'm not exactly lucky. I'd say I'm very blessed mm -hmm. um, with not just um, just the discovery. I think in a, in a way, 
I'm, I'm ambitious in this career, so I have a lot of um, ideas about where it is I want to continue in this career. So I have a feeling that I would have ended up here anyway, right. taken a lot longer. But because of being discovered, and it helped me, of course, get to where I am now. But the most important thing is having the support of my family, right, yeah, who are there with me. Right my mom right here. That's mom, that's where that's the really her sister that we gonna go. With <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. where the blessing comes in. It's right. not really just luck. It's having, I mean, in this business, it's not just about how how you look right. and how you carry yourself and, and as well. How, how it's how you carry yourself and who you are right. deep down inside. It's gonna keep you. Right. in this business for the long the run I'm on top of the game because I mean they won't keep hiring me after a while right, just right. because I'm a pretty face it's gonna right. it's the talent one thing, la, is for sure, <laughs> <laughs> one thing is for sure the next movie you know what I'm saying that you play a role in where there's a love interest male love interest I must play that role what do you think you know what I'm saying I would love to be the love interest of her in your next movie you see, what you need to see is Light It Up, which is going to be coming out probably in August, Amen. late August or September. My love interest then will be Usher. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Mm, but next maybe the next movie. Maybe the next movie. You know? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I can settle for that. You know what I'm saying? But, okay. Man, I want to wish you, you know what I'm saying, a lot of luck, you know what I'm saying, on your success. But, you know what I'm saying, you Thank just you. said you don't believe in luck, but, mm, man, I wish I you continued success, you know what I'm saying, on you your, need the same. You know, yes. your God career. God bless your show. And thank you. Your mother for having Keep you, you know what I'm saying? Or your sister for being your sister. <laughs> but, uh, man, you saw it first, you know what I'm saying? Heard it first right here, real flavor with Rosario, you know what I'm saying? None other than Lala. We got to get another nickname for you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, here go a new one from Black Style, you know what I'm saying? Featuring none other than Common, straight from the Shot town you know what I'm saying? Check it out right here. Like, who on top of this? People with you, I'm still here in Entourage's performance. Let's check out their new video win. Woo, these brothers are hot, ladies, I'm telling y'all. Yeah. I know you don't want to hurt him and see him cry but that's the way the love goes and certain things you can't keep inside i know you still love him and have a few feelings left but it's time to come to me and take another step i know you felt it when made love and when we were through you were so That's really what you want to do. Let's cut up the middleman and make it just me and yeah. you. Oh, oh. These tears I cry are tears of joy for knowing that one day you will be as a one. And I know we can work it out without a doubt. I believe in you, and I love you. 
It's the bad boys making mad noise. Mike Love. It's Mike Lizza and the Dizza. You know the Dizza. Kicking it at GCI. You checking out Real Flavor. Real Flavor, baby. What? Tell a neighbor. Hey, yo, this math representing all the broke niggas. Broke sisters, you know what I mean? We get down like this on real flavor, all right? Don't go nowhere. Matter of fact, we're going to be back after these messages. Go make me a sandwich, come back, and we're going to bail. Peace. Yeah, gonna do a couple of, uh, the interviews, and I get some, uh... This man is on the phone. You know, we try, we, we try, can we get an interview? You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants this man. <laughs> Look at him. He getting phone calls all during the interview. Can we get some tag? Yeah, we here chilling with one of Shot Time's finest. And Dub in the house. Selly, Selly with my guy, Sensei. Can we get some time? Tell Sensei we gonna call him back. <laughs> well, you know there's a people been saying you sound a lot like Tupac. You know what you expect when you know when Tupac was here, he, he grasped a lot of us, and and I I I'm really to think that not just only me, but like the entire world was actually listening and and, and trying to manifest his album and, and and get the meaning out of it. And all I say in, in my lyrics. Is, is the motivation I want to give you motivation to keep you pumping, keep you pulling, keep you keeping faith in yourself, keep your confidence high. And that's why I write the songs that I write, so you can know that you can do anything in the world if you just put your mind and your heart to it. So when is your album gonna drop? We we looking for it uh, sometime around the summer. I say around the summer, but I have a single co coming out, uh, 4199. That's April the first. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You wanna Thanks a lot. Well, this is, uh, and, uh, you know, we're undeniable records. He's the bomb, y'all. Check him out. I'm dropping pretty soon. And now we're going to check out DMX's new video, Real Flavor. Yo, what's up? This is Q. Yo, what's up? This is Mike. Yo, yo, this is Slim. This is Deron. And we're going to try it. Right, and you're looking at the new flavor. Check it out. This is Steven. You're watching Real Flavor. I can't hide the way I feel for you, and I will give anything to be with you. I can't hide the way I feel for you, and I will give anything to be with you. Yeah, my name is Ben, I'm 17. My name is Dre, I'm 16. My name is CJ, I'm 14. My name is Kyron, I'm 12. My name is Lil D, I'm 9. And together we are strong. strong. And we're here with you on Real Flavor. And as you can see, we're all finished today, breaking down the stage. And all the young stars, they gone. We got Strong, um, Aunt Dub, Deja, Entourage, and very, very talented young people. Man. Y'all think I can sing? I'm, I'm going to try to sing. I'm, I'm going to drop, drop me an album real soon. I know D, BJ out there having fun somewhere on the set to light it up. I'm kind of mad, y'all. Shout out down. He down there kicking it with Babyface, Asha. He get to kick with all the stars. Everybody go. I'm here by myself. What I'm going to do? Everybody leaving me. Woo! Hey, man. BJ, once again, for real, flavor on the set of Light It Up for Edmonds Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Just in case you're tuning into the show, Edmonds as being Babyface, you know what I'm saying? Edmonds, Kenny Babyface Edmonds and his lovely wife, Tracy Edmonds. And I'm here with, man, my Rolling. man, Dave, Dave Yo, Leonard, you know what I'm saying? Another employee on the set, you know what I'm saying? I know you got an important role, you know what I'm saying? Tell the viewers what your role is, you know what I'm saying, on the set. Yeah, well, you know, as you just heard, I was yelling out Rolling. Um, what I do is I'm a production assistant, also known as a PA on the set. Um, basically, you know, that's what we do. We call the shots. Um, being a production assistant consists of a lot of go for work, go for this, you go for that, you get right. coffee, uh, breakfast for the actors, uh, whatever it may be. Um, and a lot of times, you know, we're the most underappreciated uh, staff members on a film set or video set. But, uh, you know, it's, it's about paying your dues. And everybody that's, you know, either producer, right. writer, director, whatever, I had, to, I had to start from that point. Right. You got to yeah. start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Definitely. Man, so how you like working on the set, man? How you like working for Stan the Edwards? Oh, it's cool. I mean, uh, this is a project that uh, when I first heard about it, you know, right. it was something I knew I had to really be a part of. Right. Because, you know, uh, Babyface is one of my idols. And, uh, 
you know, Tracy Edmonds as well, you know, they right. are, you know, black. Power couple, that's what they call them no in doubt, the headline. No right. doubt, you know what I'm saying, black entrepreneurs putting it down. Right. And uh, being that I'm into the music uh, business as well, you know, that was the aspect that really drew me to this project. Man, the first movie they worked on was Soul Food. That was shot here in Chicago, and you know how much that blew up. Right, you know what I'm saying, right. you know, I know this one's going to blow up even bigger than that first one, Soul Food. Ah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Did you go to school, you know what I'm saying, for the listeners, you know what I'm saying, that might be inspired by some of these interviews? I know they will, but hopefully, you know what I'm saying, it should impact them. Did you go to school to work in this industry, work in uh, the film production, film process? Yeah, definitely. Um, I didn't I didn't necessarily cut. <laughs> I had to call out something right quick, but uh, I didn't uh, necessarily go, uh, you know, to school for it. Know, to get into film, right. but I did study film while I was at Columbia College. Right. Uh, I went there for four years, you know, mm -hmm. got my bachelor's in management, and uh, I'm, I'm minored in film. And um, basically, I just, you know, was able to get into this business by, you know, knowing somebody, which is, you know, where a lot of people get in. Right. And, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, brothers like, you know, Dee Glaspie, you know, who, uh, who are good enough to hook brothers up and, you right. know, Put them on. You, you know. mean the D on my crew right That's here? The right. D on camera That's right. right this here? man working the camera right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's uh he's always, you know, tried to, you know, hook me up on different right. video shoots and movies that come in and, you know, finally, you know, was able to pay off. I worked on another movie prior to this called Stir of Echo. Yeah. That'll be out um, in the early spring. So, you know, through that I was, you know, that definitely helped me to get to the you know, this point on this movie. And right. also the background at Columbia College definitely right. uh, played a key in it. Man, so education will play a role. Man, and there you have it right there. You got the real flavor. We kicked it here all day from sun up to sundown almost. We're going to try to get out of here and go home and get a bite to eat. Yeah. But uh, you got the real flavor, you know what I'm saying, right here on the set of Light It Up. You know what I'm saying? Light it up, baby. Edmund Thank Entertainment. God. Edmund Entertainment. Right. Okay, here go the real flavor flashback video, you know what I'm saying? Nice. The world is yours, you know what I'm saying? Until the next show, peace. The world is yours. The world. Kids come together from different places and all work together. <laughs> Frederick Stark from Onyx, Moesha, Q. Uh, who else? He played um, the movie Strapped. And uh, who else is on the movie? Um, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> so you heard it from the man himself, and Dub here on Real Flavor.